all. I am uh, driving to town right now, grabbing some uh, material, some diesel, some gas, all sorts of stuff. Got a water tote in the back that I need to uh, get out of here, but uh, it's in the truck right now and I'm not going to worry about that. Uh, this will be the first uh, coffee crockers I've done in the truck, uh, not in the morning in a while, and so um, I'm a little excited about that. I should probably stop the store, get something to drink, but it'll be I. Right. It'll be okay. But uh, one thing that you know we've been kind of doing is not fully telling you guys everything, putting everything out there, all of that, and I mean for. A reason and you guys will see very shortly but um, I think a lot of you guys understand it and and know where we're coming from and all of that but um, over the last like week or two weeks however long it's been we haven't really been posting uh, I've just been doing a ton of thinking and uh, some of the stuff I've been kind of thinking about you know is have I been giving it my all have I been trying my hardest have I really given a hundred percent and uh, the short answer is no have not I have not given it a hundred percent I haven't given this everything I have I haven't uh, tried my hardest and I need to uh, I have felt kind of deflated with um, you know problems that we've had uh, issues, all that type of stuff. Um, I felt, you know, slightly defeated with this heat. I've been, you know, really working my hardest and doing what I can in the heat. Um, I, I don't just call it quits because of the heat, but it is kind of sucky to where, you know, it's so hot that, uh, you know, Danielle isn't um, able to really stay out in the heat as long, which I'm not saying that she needs to be out in the heat work and all stuff but just for her to be able to hang out with the animals and you know stuff like that or even just us hanging outside rather than being inside um it, it kind of puts a damper on things but uh me personally i'll take this over the winter any day and i mean any day uh but i grew up in south texas so it's hot all the time there but i just you know really started thinking have i given this everything i've got and um again no i i cannot remember the last time that i woke up super early like i used to and just worked all freaking day whether that's outside on a project or editing or filming or coffee to crockers or podcast or whatever um all of it in general um I have not given it 100%. Part of me loves that. Part of me is very, very happy that I haven't because it kind of helped me reset. Uh, it helped me just zone out and not be overwhelmed with things. I hope it's not too dark. It may be too dark in here. I don't know how the video's gonna look, but whatever. Um, it really helped me kind of reset because all these things that kept happening, uh, you know, just to name it few, you guys know it's been difficult for the longest time to get uh, power. We've had the uh, property for just under two years and no power, um, you know. Uh, we, it took us a long time at the beginning to get a water well. We went through all of last summer without water. Uh, we finally got the uh, camper and then, um, I guess not actually finally got a camper. We never expected to get a camper. It just got so brutal. We were like, all right, let's, uh, let's get a camper, which I'm very thankful for. But uh, I haven't really given it my all. Uh, I, I don't know it it felt good to get the reset and all that but now I'm kind of at the point where I, I reset gave me time to think it gave me time to really dial in what we want to do how should we do it how do we pull this off uh, what are what are what's the pros and cons of doing this or that um, you know oh here comes a uh, I don't know that's a tow truck or a fire truck. I 
think it's a tow truck. I ain't moving over for them. Uh, if that was a fire truck, I was going to move over. But, uh, you know, uh, have I, you know, really given it my all, I guess. Got a little distracted with that. But, um, to, I don't know where I was going for the freaking tow truck. All in all. But, I, I do feel like, oh, we're, we're, we're figuring out the pros and cons of everything, what we need to do, the plans, how to accomplish things, and I've definitely learned a lot over the years. I've learned a lot from my mistakes. I've learned a lot from failures. I've learned a lot from trying different things. I, did, I just have learned so much about a lot of different things that I feel like I know where I want to go. I feel like Danielle trusts me if I make a decision. I feel like I trust Danielle that whatever we're doing, she's going to give it her all and work through it. Uh, one thing I guess I got to say, and I've kind of sure I've talked to Danielle about this, but um, one thing is I know now, we've been together for, you know, a little over two years, and I know that Danielle has my back. I know that Danielle is loyal. I know Danielle respects me enough to respect my decisions if I make a decision without her presence. Um, I know that, uh, you know, Danielle respects how we do things. Um, I know that Danielle will sacrifice when things need to be sacrificed. I know that she will work as much as we possibly need, whether that's on our property or at work, at the hospital, whatever it takes to get where we want to be, she will do it. Um, there's a lot of times I tell her not to feel obligated to do it because I don't want to get her burnt out on anything. Um, I feel, and maybe this is just a guy thing or whatever, but maybe just old school or how it was raised or whatever, but I definitely feel like a man should be the one to support, should be the one to handle the business of it or whatever it is I just feel like it's the man's responsibility to make sure things get done and accomplished and there was a time that I felt like I was letting her down because it took forever to try to get power out there to try to get them out there to come out they finally came out and they marked it all and then the oil field commission came out and then we couldn't do it and then we called them back they won't answer we call them back they won't answer we call them back we get someone else's number they tell us to call this person don't call back also so then i feel like i'm letting danielle down because i'm the man in the relationship i'm the one that should be handling this i'm the one that should make it work and i've talked to her about it and she's like she doesn't feel like I've let her down. She doesn't feel any of that. We're aware that, uh, you know, things happen, things that are out of our control. Uh, she just says, I trust you enough to make the right decisions on whatever we do. Uh, she kind of tells me how she's feeling, uh, what she's thinking, and she said, at the end of the day, if you feel like we should do something, then I trust you. And that takes a lot for a person to get to that point. And it took us a long time uh, to get to that point with each other just because I don't think this relationship is like many relationships, at least none I've ever been in, where uh, we are both very independent, very much uh, career-driven, very, um, you know, we're, we're in the uh, mindset of just get it done, do it, uh, with, you know, work hard, it'll pay off all of that so when you get two people like that uh, together and then you start doing all these things you know 
out here on the property and all that that doesn't go well, doesn't, uh, I kind of lost my thought, uh, do, it doesn't go the way you really want it to, uh, it, it's been difficult and it's, you know, we start, you know, we've been tested many times, I guess that's, we've been tested over and over and over since we started dating and I think we're at the point now where we understand that when we get tested and things happen or happen, we know we can handle it because one of us is going to be the rational one and the other one, you know, may, depending on what's going on, may, you know, think differently or is more on the, you know, you're going more on your feelings or emotions and the other one's going to be the more rational one. And it goes back and forth. Uh, I wear my heart on my sleeve. I just straightforward, just tell people how it is. Um, I am the nicest person in the world if you're nice to me. The second you cross me, I cut you out. I burn bridges. Uh, I burn them on purpose because I don't want you to have a way to come back. Uh, I have just learned in life that uh, the majority of people out there are not interested in your best interest. Uh, they will just do what they need to do and use you to get what they want. And when they don't get that anymore, they will, uh, they'll just, they'll let you go. They'll talk trash or whatever. So some things like that, I have jumped, you know, into saying things or doing things. And Danny, I was like, all right, let's pump the brakes a little bit, you know. Uh, so we definitely balance each other out. Uh, but um, we both have really talked a lot, really gone through scenarios and everything that's been going on in our life, uh, what went on with our life, what's going on with our life, and where's our life uh, going, where do we want to go, what, what's our plan, what are we trying to do, and I think we talked about it enough, I think we figured things out, I think we uh, really did, again, the pros and cons uh, of everything, and I feel like we have made the right decisions on everything. I feel like things are falling into place. I feel like we're making decisions based on us and not anyone else. We're not trying to please anybody but ourselves. And the fact that we have given ourselves time to kind of relax from working every day, kind of relax from pumping out videos every day, relax from some of the, uh, you know, stress, anxiety, some of the, you know, things that come on with the, the career of YouTube and all that, um, and building and doing everything we do and living the off-grid lifestyle, a lot of people don't understand how much just living off-grid takes a toll on someone you have to work every day just to live. Uh, it's not uh, just go in, turn a switch on, uh, turn water on, do all the stuff. It is a lot of work to live your everyday normal necessities of life when you live off grid, unless it's fully set up and you've got a lot invested in everything. So um, I think we're at the point now where Maybe we haven't given it 100%. Not maybe, we haven't given it 100%. I haven't for sure. And things have finally started to come together. Things are working out. And we're ready to give it 100% again like we did. And we've recouped. We've reimagined everything. We've, re we've got a new vision. We... Um, you know, have really just figured it all out, and I'm excited, and I'm pumped, and I'm going to keep saying this until we do it, because it can happen any day now. We are very, very, very close to telling you guys everything, what's going on, everything that we have done will make sense, us not talking about things will make sense, us, um, our life It'll all just make sense. So we thank you guys for watching and, uh, you know, really treating us the way you have and respecting us and being
being loyal and waiting this out and being patient with us. We appreciate it more than you will ever, ever know. But I'll leave it at that. Uh, I know some of this is vague. It's coming soon, I promise. So just think for yourself, have I tried my hardest? Have I worked my hardest to get what I want? And if I haven't, I need to change. What do I need to do? Let's do it, reevaluate, and you got this. Uh, we went through some slumps, but we're on the up and up, and we're excited. So hopefully, any day now, we'll tell you guys what's going on. But appreciate you guys, and uh, hopefully you have a good day.